Paid mods are quite a divisive topic in the BeamNG community, but today I'm having a look at the Cherrier Picnic, a $4 car made by Lucas BE. I'm going to be testing it out and seeing if it's worth those $4. An interesting vehicle, a French hot hatch. It is, I think, based on the Peugeot 106 from the late 90s, early 2000s. And yeah, it does look really nice. It's the top spec turbo GTI model. The exterior looks great, definitely equal quality to a vanilla car, maybe even higher. But on the interior is where this car really shines. The seats look great. Everything is detailed really nicely, even in the back. We've got these beautiful dials down here. Look at those. Don't they look incredible? Um, and then down here we've also got our radio and all that. Now, we're going to be driving this around today. And yeah, let's have a look. Well, it revs quite high. And we're off. Whoa. Whoa. So this is the Turbo GTI, which means it's a very fast car. Handles amazingly well. One of the best handling little hot hatches I think I've driven in this game so far. Whoa. We slightly hit the curb there. Oh, yeah. Handbrake turn. Yeah, it's good at the handbrake. Okay. A lot of understicks. We've got so much power, of course. Now, does the gear stick move? Oh, that's a shame. I like it when the gear stick moves in these cars. Okay, we're going to do a crash test. Let's see how it is on the whole crash test side. Let's crash into that wall there. Yeah, pretty good deformation. Very, um, that's very bad. You do not want that to happen in a crash test if you're, like, designing a car. That means, basically, that it's not survivable for the occupants. But look, we've got a, we've got a sunroof, which is pretty cool. Um, what's the horn like? Ooh. Quite a meaty horn for a small hot hatch. Let's go down here. An off-road dirt little road. Yeah. A good rally car, this. The 106 was. Persia did really well in rallying about this time, I believe. Woohoo. Oh, brake. No. Oh, dear. Wheels come off. Wow. Right. Let's have a look at some of the other variants. So... We've got 25 variants, just about. Uh, the Young, which is a thing aimed at teenagers, like a cheap car. No anti-lock brakes, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, base model van, a city version, um, a 1.3 city. The Dune, which is a limited soft roader. That's kind of, could be interesting on the road run right now. The Foxtrot, another van of a 1.4 litre diesel. City Dune, GTI, here's a turbo. The Gendarmes have one. Um, Group N, amateur rally track day and a race. Well, let's go for the young one, and why not? Automatic. It's a 1.1 litre, so it's going to be very slow. Look, we've even got a, like a, a a custom badge there for the young trim level. Do you remember when car manufacturers used to put like weird looking badges for the different trim levels? They don't do that so much anymore, do they? It's all about the engine. Okay, so on the dashboard in this cheap model, we've got a clock of my real world time. It says it's by Quartz. Look at that, quartz. Interesting. Ooh. Is that something they really had in the old Peugeots? Like, surely it'd be cheaper just to put a, um, a tachometer in rather than a rev counter. It's, it's pretty slow, and yeah, the lack of anti-lock brakes. You'd think for a teenager's car, they'd want it to be as safe as possible. But no, they made it as cheap as possible by getting rid of anti-lock brakes. Oh. I mean, it still handles okay. Look, we got out of that skid there pretty well. Yeah. Automatic gearbox is very slow to respond. We've got plastic bumpers, another cost-saving um, element of this vehicle, I suppose. Ooh. Ooh, nearly hit that. Off we go. Just got a kick down. It's terrible. Okay, let's try the van. So, we're actually going to try the diesel van, because I want to hear what the diesel's like. I think these are the stock engine sounds from the game, which is okay. I mean, maybe you would expect for $4 that um, you would get some custom engine noises, but, you know, they're not bad. Look at the space in the back, though. Can we open the doors? No, you can't open the doors. Hmm, not many modded vehicles you're able to open the doors. That's kind of weird. Anyway. We've got no turbocharger, which means that this little diesel, you have to rev it so much to get any power out of it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
quite tight little lane here. We can test the handling of this. Sometimes diesels, like in small cars, can really change the handling because the engine is much heavier and it really changes the way the front suspension acts and the, you know, the grip. Whoa. Good brakes, though. Anti-lock? Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. So, so far, it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely up to the standard of, like, the Covet or the Piccolina, some other small car in the game. Um, let's go for another one. The Dune. We've got to go for the Dune. And we're going over to 1.6 litre. An upgraded intake. Interesting. So, this is like a soft... Y you know those... Um, Sometimes manufacturers make a slightly off-road version, like the XC70 of the Volvo V70 and stuff like that. This is a bit like that. I don't, I can't think of a hatchback equivalent, but it's like not designed for like off-road, like a Land Rover would be able to to handle. But kind of small dirt lanes, stuff like that. Maybe a bit of mud. Nothing like crawling. Anyway, let's find a dirt lane and try the Dune, which suggests to me that it'll. Oh, oh no. The, G the June name suggests to me that it would be good for deserts. Stuff like that. Whoa. Maybe like beaches? I think there's a beach down here. Yes. Perfect. Let's go on the beach. Ooh. Bang. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. Oh, this is really fun. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like a June buggy almost. You could do with some better tyres, maybe, but uh, yeah. Ooh, into the sea. No, 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 no. Avoid the sea. Engine is starved of oil. What? Was that because we were going uphill? I think it was. Wee! Big jump. Oh. Yeah, I'm loving the crash effects. That's something that Lucas B also made the ETK K series from 1994, I think it was, which is an amazing mod, one of the best quality mods. Um, ever. There is a demo version of this available if you want to try this mod um, without having to pay for it. There are two variants available compared to the 25 listed here. I think it's like the City and the Foxtrot, something like that. Okay, we tried the Turbo GTI. Let's just try the normal Turbo. See if it's any more easy to handle. Oh, come on. No. Come on, we can get up there. Let's try it. Come on! What? Oh no, we're like grounded. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Front wheel drive only, of course. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Reset. Okay. Let's absolutely thrash this thing down this road. See how it handles. Ooh. It does handle really well. Wow, a bit of oversteer there. Hatchbacks are really good when they like the, the rear wheel kind of cocks up slightly and does a bit of oversteer. That is when you, you know that they've really sorted the suspension out. It does make driving a hot hatch very fun. Although I've never actually driven one in real life, so I, I can't really say that with much authority. But um, in games, I, I can recognize that as a positive thing. Oh, handbrake. Yes. And also, if you can use the handbrake in a hot hatch, that's what you got to do. It does sound quite nice, though. Revs to 7,000, which is incredible. Ooh! Oh, damn! Wow. Okay. So what I want to try, I've never really done this in a video before, but I want to try some nighttime driving. We're going to finish off this video in the night. There we go. Like, four in the morning. Why not? Now, we're going to use a different variant. Look at this nighttime lighting. The, the sheen of the, of the metallic paint at night is very nice. I like that. Like, glowing in the moonlight. Okay. Um, there's a couple more to choose from. We're going to go for the... Now, we've seen the City D. Um, what about the gendarmes? Here we go. Oh, yes. The police. Now, that's a custom noise. Here we go. How fast is it? I mean, whoa. It's not amazingly fast, but it's probably fast enough for the police around town. Oh no. It just really reminds me of um, Driver Free, where you have that 
a niece level, right? And you have to... Uh, <laughs> the police sirens are quite funny there. Um, they're in France, they make quite a weird noise. In the UK, we have like a whelp or like a up and down. But in Europe, they just have two solid notes. Yeah, I used to love that driver free game. It was great. Whoa. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying the mod. Is it worth four dollars? It's up, it's up to you, really. Um, right, the last three are quite interesting. So the track day we're going to try. This is going to have a, probably a really hard suspension. So we're also driving at night. Oh, yeah, you can see it bouncing, the suspension. Really, it, no body roll at all. But it is quick. Oh, it's fun driving at night. Great brakes, amazing brakes. Through that intersection. Whoa! Big jump. Oh, driving at night makes it much more difficult, doesn't it? Oh, let's go down the no entry sign. We're on the motorway. Yes. Oh, doesn't that sound amazing? Yes. I like that sound. Ooh. We're going to lose it. No, we're all right. We've got six gears. We can probably get some top speed of about what? 125, 130 out of this? Oh yeah, easily. One, that's 200 kph. 130 miles per hour. Oh my goodness. What a machine. Let's hit that roundabout. I can't see where it is. It's just up here, isn't it? Here we go. Oh no. Slow motion. Right, what's going to happen here? Uh-oh. We're up. Are we going to hit the barrier? Just slightly. Hitting a tree any, any minute now. I think we're okay. Uh, Where are we going? Are we going into the sea? We somehow got through all the trees. And there we go. Look at that at night. And all the wood chips kind of flying off. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Right, we've got one more variant, I think. Or maybe not. There might be more than one. The race version. Right. It has a sequential gearbox. I think it might be the same, but with a sequential. No, it's... Okay, it's much faster. There's third gear. Lots of wheel spin, even in third gear. Oh, yes. Okay, let's switch back to day. I'm kind of struggling to drive properly in this night time. There you go. Noon. Look how bright it is. That's, it's only got six gears. Some race cars do have seven, but not in a, maybe a small hot hatch. Back. Oh, we're still going. No, we're not. Well, really quick race car. You could definitely enjoy that on a racetrack. And the final one to test is, of course, the asphalt. Hmm... Rally racing? Yeah. Group N rally racing. Okay. A little bit chunky tyres. Good for rallying, of course. Slightly soft suspension. Yeah, look, the back wheel kind of cocks up slightly. Did you see that? Let's see if we can do it again. Get some good speed. You see that? It's just for a second, it slightly raises off the ground. That's really kind of iconic or stereotypical of a um, hot hatchback like this. Okay, ooh. Especially the light ones, whoa. Yes. I don't think you see it in like a VW Golf GTI, but you'd see it in like a, maybe a Polo GTI or um, certainly the old Renault Clio sports used to have that. Whoa, whoa. So there we go. The Cherrier Picnic. A $4 car. Is it worth it? I think yes. But maybe, um, it depends on your taste. If you want to get this car for free, um, there is a demo available. But if you want all the variants I tested today, it is $4. I'll, of course, leave a link in the description down below. Let me know what you think of this car. If you want to see more reviews of paid modded cars, please let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. 
Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more. Special thanks to Ultra Sim fan Oh My Mandy.